Hello Shepherds, it's X week and we're learning about x-rays. Jessica's x-ray. Hmm, let's learn about what an x-ray is. This is a book written by Pat Zonta and the artwork is by Clive Dobson, the illustrator, the one who draw, draws the pictures. Hi, my name is Jessica. I was climbing a tree when I fell and broke my arm. Up to that point, my day had been perfect. Oh dear. Hmm, not perfect anymore. My parents took me to Children's Hospital where Dr. Dave looked at my arm. He said, to help you get better as fast as possible, we need an x-ray to see what happened inside your arm. Hmm, the doctor said that. The x-ray room looked scary. I didn't want to go inside. Sarah, the x-ray worker said, it's okay to be scared, Jessica, but x-rays don't hurt. You can't feel or see them, but they zoom through your body and takes pictures of your bones. Oh, interesting. See the word up there? X-ray. It's written on the other side of the door. X-ray. I felt better when Sarah let my dad come in with me. We only need to x-ray your arm, she said. These lead aprons keep the x-rays away from other parts of your bodies. Very heavy aprons. Look over here. Whoa. This film in the book is an actual x-ray. This is an x-ray of a six-year-old child's hand. There's lots of bones in there. 26 bones in a child's hand, 26. There are 27 bones in the hand and wrist of an adult. Hmm. Wow, that's a lot of bones in there, isn't there? You can count the bones, see them? There's one bone, there's one bone, there's a bone, there's a bone. Hmm. All those bones in your fingers, interesting. Check it out. Sarah gave me three x-ray pictures to take to Dr. Dave. One, two, three. He looked at them and said, your arm will get better soon. I'll put a cast on now to help the bones heal properly. I'll check the cast when it dries. It's been wrapped with a cast. It's, just, it's hard to keep the bones from moving. Did you know that bones in your wrist grow at different times as you grow up? Can you see where Jessica's arm is broken? Can you see where her bones are growing? See, here's Jessica's wrist. And here's the broken section. There's your wrist. This is your wrist right here. Can you see where those bones are all in there? Do they move around? Hmm, interesting. Boy, God makes their bodies really interesting, doesn't he? While we waited for, for my cast to dry, Sarah took us on a tour. We looked at a special x-ray called a CAT scan, which uses a computer to show things an ordinary x-ray can't see. The CAT scan showed that a boy who had fallen off his bike was okay because he was wearing his helmet. Your skull, where's your skull? Can you see your touch your skull? Your skull is made up of bones that fit together like a jigsaw puzzle to protect your brain. Can you see the skull, the brain, the scalp? The skull is the bone, the white part around it. The brain is inside. And this white section around it is your scalp. Your scalp is the skin right here, the skin on top of your bone of your, your skull. Sometimes baby swallows things that they shouldn't. 
We saw an x-ray on the computer of a one-year-old boy who swallowed a penny. Doctors need an x-ray to show where the coin is to make sure it doesn't get stuck anywhere until it shows up in his diaper. Oh, yuck, I thought. Healthy lungs look black on an x-ray. Can you see the coin? You see the coin? Oh my goodness. Can you see the ribs? See all those lines there? The ribs, the heart, and the collarbone, and the spine. That's the bone in the back. Remember, reptiles have spines. Collarbones are these bones right here. Can you feel your collarbone? There's lots of bone and bones in our bodies. Not everyone who comes to the hospital is sick. Pregnant moms have an ultrasound to make sure the baby is okay. Sarah said high-speed sound waves take a picture of the baby and can sometimes show if it's a boy or a girl before it's born. How exciting. Oh, look at the picture of this baby. See the head? See the little nose and the eye and the mouth? See the arm and his hand? His fingers and his thumb, that's inside the mommy's tummy. Mom said, Jessica, on your ultrasound, you were sucking your thumb. Remember the CAT scan picture of the boy's head, Sarah asked? There's another way you can see the brain, it's called an MRI. Whoa, look at that cool picture. An MRI machine and it uses a big magnet instead of x-rays to take pictures. The magnet is so strong, it can pull the buckle right off your belt. You can't wear a belt in there. This is an MRI of a head. An MRI is used to show tissue that in an ordinary x-ray can be hidden behind the bone. See the brain? See the eyeballs? See the pupils, this little black part? See the nose? Oh my goodness, how interesting. That's what our bones look like. This is where we take x-rays of your mouth, said Sarah. We get that done at the dentist when you get older. We looked at an x-ray of a two-year-old. We could see his baby teeth and the molars that hadn't come in yet through the gums. See the baby teeth? And then up here are some big teeth that are gonna come down. Like bones, teeth are made of calcium, and that's why we can see them on an x-ray. You see the ears? See where the eye sockets? When we finished our tour, my cast was dry. We found Dr. Dave taking care of a boy who had broken his leg. They were in the emergency room. While he was waiting for the boy's x-rays, Dr. Dave checked my cast. He said, looks good, Jessica. We'll see you in a couple of weeks for a checkup. You have been a brave girl. Nice. I thought the boy with the broken leg was brave too. His parents weren't at the hospital yet. He looked scared, so I let him be the first person to sign my cast. Then his parents ran through the door just in time to see his first x-rays. It had been an exciting day. I got to see inside a lot of people and I had a brand new cast for my friends to sign. They put their name on it. X-rays, take pictures of our bones. Enjoy.